Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Igaga. I live in Kampala, Uganda, and I am an anesthesiologist with a passion for patient safety. I currently work with the world's largest cleft charity as director of safety and quality, and thank you for having me. That's a great question. Um, so when I graduated as an anesthesiologist, I worked for about two years and started to look for the next thing. Um, a clinical fellowship was definitely out of the picture. And previously I had unknowingly been drawn to patient safety and I'd been involved in lots of activities, teaching, um, refreshers, you know, being part of it educational material and all of that. And so um, when the opportunity showed up on Twitter and I saw the, the uh, you know, the application process, I just knew it clicked. It, I knew that was where I wanted to be. I knew that finally I had found a place that I would be happy at in. And so I applied for it and here we are. Um, it's interesting that you should ask those question, that question. Um, it, I gained a lot from the program, but basically insights into the complexities of patient safety. Um, connecting and networking with my colleagues and the faculty who taught us were very, was very helpful in helping me keep my frustrations at bay. Um, it also gives me hope that the movement is growing and that there is um, hope to achieve zero present preventable deaths in the future. Um, where my career is concerned, um, it's surprising that, you know, when I was halfway through my fellowship, a new position became available at Smile Train, which, like I said earlier, is the world's largest clip focused non-profit non organization. Um, basically, what Smile Train does is it partners with local medical professionals, including surgeons and anesthesiologists like me, to support cleft surgery and cleft care for people in need. So the position of Director of Safety and Quality for their medical programs came up, and it was a perfect moment. So I now lead safety and quality work that cuts across all our medical programs and initiatives, and I am really lucky to work with an organization whose vision um, aligns with mine and is passionate about providing safe and high quality surgery as I am. So it really doesn't get better than that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the one that I really, really liked was, you know, discussing psychological safety, um, there's more than one, psychological safety, the second and third victim. That stood out for me because I could resonate with everything that I was going through, everything that I had been through, the things that I had seen my colleagues going through and not in that moment, not having solutions for them. Um, it was really important that, you know, we discussed it. And for me, it's just the fact that this is actually a topic that is discussed was one of the thing, one of the things that was great. Um, each of these topics, as I have said earlier, is quite important. And the timing during the fellowship program was impeccable. I'd like to say patient safety um, is a priority. It is with us and should continue to remain with us. Um, one of the things that our program director, Dr. Peter Lachman, said during one of our sessions was patient safety is difficult. It is complicated. If it wasn't, we would have solved all the problems patient safety related and um, we wouldn't be here. So for me, it's just, you know, the fact that and just to encourage everyone else who's dealing with whatever patient safety related um, topic they're dealing with, keep on keeping on. It's it's difficult, but it's possible.